And I am rolling. Okay, let me make sure I'm actually rolling instead of rolling and then hitting stop. <laughs> which is, I guess, what I did in your car on Monday. Double punched? Yep. Made me feel like I had been double punched in the gonads. Hopefully you were. And if you weren't, then I will fix that the next time we meet face to face. Welcome to the Doonstief Audio Fiction Magazine. And now here's your host, Rish Outfield. I haven't been on Facebook in a while. Oh, just don't. And Big Anklevich. Holy smoke, dude. Just don't go there, man. It's the grimmest thing in the world. Hi, everybody. This is Big Anklevich. And this is Rish Outfield. And this is another rerun episode. <laughs> We're coming at you live from uh, the past. This, <laughs> this is a recording, therefore. Uh, yeah, we're here with uh, just kind of a short announcement. It's not really an episode. It's just a, a, an extra, a little bit of a business that we're, uh, we're doing here. Um, so coming up here relatively soon is the holiday season. And uh, we always like to do a holiday episode. So we were talking and we had this idea that we would do something kind of special, kind of unusual. It would be a form of broken mirror kind of a thing. It's like that earlier in the year we did the B episode or the not the B episode. Not the bees! <laughs> Where we kind of threw out a... We told a story about my son being scared of bees. And then we asked people to, you know, come up with ideas for stories that, that could go with that. And we had a fun little episode where some people just threw out quickie ideas. Other people, longer ones. And some people went all out and recorded it. Put music to it. And it was just the full Monty. So... We thought we'd try something like that again. We've got an idea, a broken mirror premise for a Christmas story. And we will tell it to you now, and then we will invite you all to participate. So, Rish Outfield, can you tell them what the idea is? I can try. Uh, if I remember correctly, the idea is... No one knew... Who the present was from. No name was written on the box. Ooh, okay, so... Does that sound right? Yeah, I think so. More or less. It's good enough. Well, I remember we argued about whether it should be two sentences, whether it should be a semicolon there. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a pretty open pre premise, though. Not an open present yet <laughs> but an open premise so you can you know come up with what you will from it oh yeah that's right the first time i did it i remember it was in sort of an ominous voice of no one knew <laughs> who the present was from you know that kind of thing that's right um but yeah you don't have to do it as a scary story you can do it as a super uplifting holiday story <laughs> brought yeah, to you it by be a hallmark freaking, yeah a candidate for the hallmark hall of fame you know, uh, you can you make it whatever kind of an idea that you want. It could be romantic. It could be funny. No, it couldn't. No? There's no way you could make that funny. I'm sorry. Nice try. What? It sounds like a challenge for our listeners. <laughs> but uh, It's impossible. No, that was just a lame joke. But we're, we're delivering this, you know, the second week of November. And uh, we have a deadline if people want to send this in. So you have about a month to do it, right? Yeah, let me... Do you want to give the rules? Okay, the deadline to have your submission in is December 12th by 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, okay? It's because <laughs> we're planning on recording at 7 o'clock, right? That's right, yeah. That's why you chose that specific time. 7 o'clock or so, we will be recording the episode. So if your entry is not in at that point, well, you're going to miss out. You're going to be like Marshall Latham, okay? <laughs> he was the so... first to send us one. <laughs> yeah, I know, probably. And we just didn't see it. Sorry, the late Marshall Latham, yeah. Remember, he rage quit the show. 
Right. <laughs> Uh, so let me give you the rules, the actual, you know, the, the, what you have to follow so that we do actually see your entry and use it in the show. Rule number one, your entry must be sent to editor at doonsteef.com. Attached to an email and sent to editor at doonsteef.com. How should they make this entry for the podcast or Shoutfield? Well, if I remember correctly, they have to record their take on this broken mirror premise. That's right. So an audio file, they can send it as an MP3. Uh, they can send it as a WAV file. I suppose they could send it as a FLAC. I won't be able to open it, but you will, um, as just an attachment to that email. Yeah, and they cannot send it as a WMA. Just please don't do that. I hate those files. They suck. Okay. <laughs> After what they did to your family, I understand. We don't want any WMAs. That's right. They're the hardest to convert. But it seems like there was a length requirement, at least last time I was with a girl. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't think we have any kind of a real length requirement. It's basically up to you. Whatever the listener wants to, you know, however much effort they want to put into it, since they have to record it themselves, you know, it's as long as you want to make it. You and I, our plan for this episode is we will have an episode where we go through everybody's submissions and we'll talk about it. And then after that, we will go to our stories because you and i have to actually write stories full-on stories to go with this that will be our contribution to the uh holiday episode so you and i will have our own broken mirror stories that will appear and, and approximately three thousand words was the uh the word count that we were shooting for with our stories but, you know, as far as the listeners go, you can put as much or as little effort into it as you want. You know, I'm, I'm down with whatever you, you want to throw at us. And it seems like you had stated that they don't have to write a full story. They can do sort of a treatment for a story, which is, you know, a blueprint for a movie is what a treatment is. You know, a synopsis. They can do, you know, just a paragraph and say, oh, this is my take on the idea. Or they can, yeah, they can go all out like Gino did. Right. Was it Gino? Yeah, it was Gino that did that. Did the full-on recording and with the music and the whole bit. Uh, just, yeah, whatever you feel like, whatever you're able to do. But no pressure, yeah. Don't, don't, don't feel like you're competing with anybody else. It's not a broken mirror contest, right? Right. No, yeah, it's just a fun... It's kind of almost like comments on a blog post or something, you know? Put in your two cents. Okay, is there anything else that they need to know? No, I think that's good. I think that's all we need for this announcement. We should probably cut it off now and get it out there so people can actually do something on it. Okay, yeah, I hope a lot of people participate in this. It just seems like it would be neat in a very communal experience. The more voices there are, the, the less alone I feel in the world. <laughs> and reiterate for the folks just one more time what this premise is. Okay. No one knew who the present was from. There was nothing written on the box. Okay, that's... Uh, again, it doesn't need to be nearly as ominous as Big just made it. I, I think I heard that uh, creepy, dissonant uh, hum during that one, you know. The, <laughs> the... Okay, let me try it again. No one knew who the present was from. Nothing was written on the box. Okay. So that's, you know, an alternate. To, you know, you can use that as your inspiration instead if you want. Yeah, that one's even scarier. <laughs> or, no one knew who the present was from. Nothing was written on the box. Vivid Video presents. <laughs> Give me one more. I'm, I'm okay. enjoying this. No one knew who the present was from. Nothing was written on the box. 
<laughs> oh man, my Australian accent is the worst ever. <laughs> that no, that's how they actually sound to us. Now I knew who the present was from. Bruce wasn't written on the box. <laughs> <laughs> is your name not Bruce then? Huh. Okay. Once again, folks, the twelfth of December, six o'clock PM Pacific time. Just please send it to editor at doonsteef.com. I think that we'll have a really spectacular episode uh, for Christmas for you guys. And uh, at the very least, Big and I are forced. We're being obligated to write stories. Yeah, it'll be the first time I've written in a while. So it's nice to have an obligation to force me. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I'm going to let you guys go because i got to come up with an idea. So... Uh, thanks for listening, and hopefully you participate. We'll see you next time, folks. Yep, we will. Or we'll hear you next time. Yeah, there we go. We will hear them. All right, I'm Big Anglovich. I'm Rich Outfield. Right on. Yeah, keep calm and right on. The Dune Steve Audio Fiction Magazine is published under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives license. This means that you can share the Dune Steve with anyone you'd like, but you can't sell or change the files. Take two. Okay, so we have clapped. We now have the clap. Which is nothing new okay. for you. Gotta go get some more penicillin. How should they make this entry for the podcast, Rush Outfield? Well, if they can send it as a doc file, a dot .doc, or an RT... Hold on here. F-L-M-A-O. <laughs> you are leading these people astray. They have to record their entry. Oh, okay. I can cut that out. I'd forgotten. <laughs> okay.